What's going on guys? This is the Divine coming at you with another video and today what we're going to be doing is actually going out to the Rev Caves. Um, while there are a lot of YouTube videos out there that show you how to kill the Revenants, this is going to be catered to more beginner level and uh, people that don't want to actually risk a lot out there. So strap in and we're going to get straight into it. Alright, so before we can fire right in and start killing some revenants, we need to know where we're actually going to go. So, I've brought up this map here to kind of show you a couple different tasks that you can take to get to the revenant caves. Um, I did not include the revenant teleport just because I feel like people that are going to watch this video are not actually going to be using that item. And they will probably use it uh, to actually sell on the GE. So, the first one's going to be the lava maze. That's going to be your shortest path, but also the most risky. Uh, there are quite a few PKers out there. I know there's a couple YouTubers out there that love to PK at that spot, so it is a little bit scary to go out there. Uh, the next one's going to be the Bandit Camp. That's going to be a mid, mid walk, I would say. It's not too bad compared to the Lava Maze, um, but it is longer. And then the last one would be to actually bank at Edgeville and then walk all the way up to the Rev Caves. And this is the one I don't recommend. It is the longest path, so if you're trying to make money quick, this is going to take you a little bit longer. So let's figure out once we get to these caves what revenants we're actually going to kill. Alright, so you've braved the wild, you've gotten into the Rev Caves, and it's still a bit of a risk from all those PKers, but now you're going to be hunting down some Revenants, and those three that you're going to want to hunt down are the Goblin, the Imp, and the Pyre Fiend. And we'll be going over this a little bit later in the video of where you'll find these actually within the Rev Cave, but these are the three you're going to want to be focusing on. So now that we know where we're going and what we're killing out there, it's time to gear up guys and I'm going to be showing three different gear setups throughout this video here, but the first one's going to be utilizing darts. So I wanted to use darts because I feel like they're a very cost effective method to go in out to the revs. Uh, they're probably not the fastest way, but adamant darts are really cheap to go out there. So we're going to just see how well it goes and see how much money we can make out there probably within 20 minutes or so. Uh, we're also going to be bringing out a range potion, a stamina potion, anti-fire, and a burning amulet because we're going to be going out to that lava maze teleport to get out there. So let's fire right in and see if we can get anything good to drop from these little guys. Alright, so briefly before we head out there, I just quickly wanted to show my stats currently. I do have a little bit of advantage over a lot of lower level people because I do have higher range, but I am 75 combat, and I know some of you guys in the comments were going to wonder what my stats were before we jump right into killing these revs, so without further ado, we're going out there. Alright, quickly before we fire right in, I do want to recommend that you don't bring any armor that's visible right away. So, that way when we go to this lava maze here, if there are any kind of PKers, usually they leave you alone because everyone thinks that you probably died at revs and you're just running back to get your stuff. So, we're going to quickly make this run. I'm going to drink my anti-fire. We're going to drink that stamina so that we're full stamina by the time we get into the revs, just in case we do need to run. Uh, I bring the anti-fire. Don't feel like it's necessary. They're very cheap, and running past these green dragons every once in a while, they can kind of hit you for pretty high. Um, and we can see that there's a PKer there, but hopefully they're just doing revs. I don't want to get killed, so I think we might just swap worlds just in case. Um, this is one thing you'll notice when you're at the Rev Caves. Uh, you're going to want to kind of flip-flop through worlds. Uh, there are going to be quite a few PKers, and it is kind of stressful at first until you get kind of used to it. And here we go, even more PKers. But I don't think these guys are going to be able to attack me. Oh, there is a 75, so we're going to swap worlds again. But we're almost to those Revs. Uh, we want to start making money. Alright, this is a good start. There's no, no uh, scold up players. And, alright, so now that we're at the Rev Caves, we're going to just come right over here into this back corner. Ooh, there is a couple Scold people. I think we might swap again, just in case. Some people get a little crafty or edgy when they are when they see anybody around their level, because they don't want to want to share these caves. So we're just going to quickly find another world here. Um, I think it's actually switching us here. Ah, there we go. So... We're going to just sit back in this corner, we're going to put on our gear, take a range pot, and then we're going to fire right into some of these revs here. 
Um, like I said, the goblin and the imp are going to spawn right here, and the pyre fiend's going to be right next to us as well. So let's see if we get any kind of good loot. So we're just killing a pyre fiend here. I'm throwing on prayer. Don't feel like you need to, guys. But we can see this PKer back here. It looks like he's killing a rev right now, but we don't want to risk it for too long. And it looks like we got a teleport, so that's actually a pretty decent drop. We're going to run because I think this PKer is trying to kill us. And we're going to quickly swap. Now, normally if I swap uh, while I have some good loot, I will take off all my armor. But if someone's chasing you, you just want to get out of there quick. So I'll cut and see if we get anything else good that drops here within the next couple minutes. Alright, so we've been here about 10 minutes. We've been flipping in and out of uh, worlds here just because we're recording this on a uh, weekend. So the rev caves are quite busy. But look at that, guys. We just got five runite bars. So hopefully we'll get a couple good uh, other drops as well. Alright, so we're killing another Pyre Fiend here. He's taking a little while to kill, but we got the whole uh, PK and squad out here just murking everybody. And look at that. We got some more Runite bars, guys. So hopefully we'll catch a little bit more of a break. It's been about 22 minutes or so right now, and these caves are really busy, but hopefully we can get some more loot while we're out. So we just got back from swapping another world and these PKers man, they're going crazy and look at that We just got some black dragon hides, so we'll see if we can get any more But we're getting pretty close where I feel like we should be teleporting out of here pretty quickly So let's see if we can maybe get a few more kills before we hop out All right, so it's time to see how our first trip went out. Uh, we probably spent about 22 minutes out there uh, It was a little hard because it is a weekend. So there was a lot of PKers out there, but First of all, let's kind of go in and see what we got. Uh, we got some Rune Knight bars, we got some Black Dragon Hide, and we also got the Teleport. So let's see how much all this stuff is actually worth. We want to throw in the Ether because that is actually a pretty good chunk of money itself. So we'll just add all of our stuff together and it's about 207k. So all in all, I would say it's a pretty fair trip um, for 22 minutes and not too bad. Alright, so we're just geared up now, guys, and this time we're going to bring Amethyst Arrows. So, uh, we've just topped back off the prayer, and we're going to head right back out and see how we can do. Alright, so now that we're out here, I do find that the arrows are a little bit easier to get the Revenant uh, Pyre Fiend killed, just because some of these guys with a blowpipe will actually try to steal your kill. But look at that, guys. We got a Rune Knight Kite, but there is a lot of people here, so we're just going to take off our armor and flip over to another world and see if we can find a little bit freer of a world. So, um, let's see how well that goes. Alright, so I'm over here killing the Revenant Demon just because no one was, and I figured I might as well try to get uh, a little bit better chances at some loot. But let's see if we get anything off of this kill. Sometimes it can be just a waste of food. And look at that, guys. We got three Runite Ore, so it was kind of worth it, but we did use quite a bit of food, so I probably won't be doing that again until we get maybe a bracelet to uh, attack those guys. Alright, so we're closing in on that 20 minute mark. I probably don't want to stay too much longer, but we want to probably get at least one more good loot. And hopefully, and look at that. Our luck has just struck and we got Onyx Bolt Tips. So uh, we're probably going to head out here and then see how much this run was worth. Uh, and like I said, we were probably only doing it for about 20 minutes. By the bank in Edgeville, uh, it's time to kind of see what our loot's going to be. We can see that we actually burned through quite a few arrows, so this can be a little bit more of a pricey approach to do uh, compared to those darts, but you know what? It was a pretty good attempt and it was a pretty good trip, I feel like. So let's put all of our stuff in here and... 165k so not every trip's going to be perfect guys it is all a game of chance but for about 20 minutes or so we got some combat experience and some decent money out of it so let's go to our third uh setup that we're going to be using all right so for the last build out we're going to be using broad tip bolts and we're also going to bring bringing out some uh dragon stone ease just in case i kind of want to try it and see how we do against some of the higher level stuff don't feel like you need to be bringing out this kind of stuff though guys uh you can actually just bring out a bone crossbow if you really want to because they are super cheap so we're going to bring out this loadout and see how well it works for us Alright, so we just had to change worlds because of PKers, but it looks like this one's actually pretty empty, so we're going to see if we can get anything off of these guys. Come on, we got to get something good eventually here. Hey, look at that, guys. Dragon Plate Legs, 161k drop. That is what we're looking for. Um, 
since we just got out here, uh, we haven't been out here very long, so I'll probably just hold on to these because I can do protect item, and I won't lose much if I do. So let's see if we can get some other good loot while we're out. All right, so we're just out here killing this pyre fiend. Hey, look at that, we got a bracelet of Ethereum. So you can charge these bracelets while you're out here. Um, I, you will notice that I'll just charge it here quick. Um, it's pretty good if you wanna kind of fight stuff and not get hit, especially if you're starting to get low food. One risk with that is uh, when PK or C you have that blue bracelet on, it does make you a bigger target. So beware if you're gonna be wearing these bracelets out here. Alright, since I have the bracelet now, I threw on my Dragonstone Ease to go kill this guy over here. And look at that, we got ourselves another teleport. Uh, we have quite a bit of stuff now. I don't really want to lose this bracelet. I do want to sell it. Uh, so we'll probably try to find maybe one or two more items before we head out uh, and go back to the bank and see how well we did. Alright, so I didn't get the camera up on time on this one, but we just got some coal. Uh, this is one you kind of have to watch out for because I feel like I almost miss this one half the time. Uh, coal is pretty valuable, so especially when you start getting lump sums like 67 each time, so kind of be a lookout for that one. And yet another world where there's PKers just destroying people out here. But we're killing this uh, Revenant Orc and we got some Yulonk. So even more money. Uh, I might try to stay out here for just a bit longer because it seems to be a pretty good trip so far. And here's me just hoping for another drop so I can get out of here pretty quickly. And looks like we got a bracelet of Ethereum. I think we'll just kill this last guy over here. And then we're going to hop out of here and then see how much this trip was. I feel like this was a little bit longer of a trip. I think it was more around 25, 30 minutes. So take that into consideration, guys. All right, it's time to see how much that trip was worth. Um, like I said, we were out there for about 25, 30 minutes, but we got the two bracelets, we got the teleport, the U-logs, the coal, the ether, and those dragon plate legs for a total of about 308k. So I know a lot of other videos out there are going to show and claim that you can make a lot more money than I did out there, but like I said in the beginning, this is more of a budget-friendly way to do this, and if you're not experienced or you don't want to risk a lot of money going out there, and you just kind of want to have some fun and kill some revs for some maybe possible really good loot, um, this is the way to do it. But if you guys like this video, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.